Hey folks, if you enjoyed you here, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the bell for notifications. Also consider supporting us on Patreon for exclusive perks and check out our arts and media podcast, Words Like That, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, now shut up and get to it. Can't have no words like that. This is the trailer for Reagan. Ronald Reagan biopic starring Dennis Quaid. Let's do it. Welcome to your life. There's nothing a retired governor can do, but a president. Now he can do a thing or two. Everybody wants to. <laughs> this is the song I use over this. Huh. I will be frank with you that as a citizen, I would not like to see any political party outlawed on the basis of its ideology. Man, he's because I still believe, Mr. Chairman, that democracy Impression. can handle it. I was a brand new KGB officer given my first intelligence assignment. Oh, a boy. certain okay. actor and union leader. Dutch, there's a purpose for your life. You can run okay, so they're, they're going all the way back, not just the presidency, after okay? After a while, you're going to have to stand up to him. my boy! <laughs> There's about to be another war right here in Hollywood. The commies on one side, the mob on the other. And you're right in the middle, son. If you put as much work into your career as you do making your speeches, you'd have an Oscar by now. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, I'm Nancy Davis. Hello, Nancy Davis. I'm Ron Reagan. I'm curious, Ron. What would you say is the issue of our time? No question about it. Communism and the Soviet Union. Get in the game. Run for office. <laughs> it's you. I'm running for governor, and I would like your vote. I forgot your name. Do his initials help, or R? Honey, Roy Rogers is here. And he's running for governor. <laughs> Ron, remember oh, yeah, that was that funny. That was funny. All right, I'm going to stop it right there. Okay, so this one is an older trailer. I wanted to do a reaction to it when it first came out, but uh, uh, those of y'all who follow the channel know I had a lot of personal stuff going on that wasn't able to make the kind of content, the amount of content that I wanted to make during that time. But anyway, so I am a sucker for biopics. A lot of people don't know this. I'm also a big history buff. I actually have, I think, 24 college hours in history and political science. Thought about pursuing a degree in that at one point, but one different direction. But anyway... Dennis Quaid, who I absolutely love as an actor, he is a very accessible, appealing, charismatic type presence on screen. He's made a lot of great movies that I really like and played a lot of great roles in those movies. And he is absolutely slaying this as Reagan. I also think it's interesting. I thought whenever they announced this movie, it's going to kind of focus just on his presidency, and maybe it will, I don't know, but from what we've seen from the trailer to, so far, they're going all the way back to his childhood, t through his Hollywood career, running for governor, so it looks like it's actually going to be a, a complete biopic as opposed to a biopic that just takes a section out of the figure's life and tells that kind of story, which is what I was kind of expecting from this. I'm not sure why. I don't know if I've seen anything that indicated that. I guess that's just was an assumption on my part. Because that's what Reagan's known mostly for is, is being the president. But yeah, it looks like they're they're trying to tell his entire life story here. Again, Dennis Quaid is doing an incredible job impersonating Reagan, I hate to use that word because it makes it sound like it, it kind of diminishes the acting skill. Like, acting's one thing, the impersonation's kind of on a lower tier. But if you're playing a historical figure that is so well documented and so well known of how he spoke and what his mannerisms were, you, you really have to do an impression to be able to sell the movie if you're playing that person in a biopic. Dennis Quay's doing a great job. The only thing from a filmmaking standpoint that I'm seeing so far is some of the younger scenes where Ronald Reagan is supposed to be younger than what Dennis Quaid is 
as he's playing Reagan. It looks like that they just kind of did some generic young makeup job as opposed to using like an AI de-aging technology, which can be really good if it's done right, if you got somebody who really knows how to work with that stuff. So it kind of kind of takes me out a little bit that you realize like, oh, hey, that's, that's Dennis Quaid trying to play Ronald Reagan 30 years younger, 40 years younger than what Dennis Quaid actually is in real life. Minor criticism. So far, this looks good. Me, as a, as a history buff, as a biopic fan, as a Dennis Quaid fan, yeah, I'm all in. Let's finish this thing. Me, that you wanted to make a difference in this world. You know what you have to do. Governor Reagan again, typically, is against such a proposal. There you go again. But he was not afraid to Thanks, take us babe. on. There's nothing a retired governor can do about the Soviets, but a president. Now he can do a thing or two. Welcome to your life. I was a lifeguard on a river. There's no turning back. And I learned how to read the currents. Mm, assassination attempt, wow. The surface, but also the ones deep underneath the water. I am about to start the biggest war of this century, and I'm not going to fire a single shot. You're going to blow up eight years of diplomacy. Well, if you think that got their undies in a one, you just wait. What did the president know, and when did he know it? What would you have me do? I want you to fight! I like this. I like this cover version of this song. Mr. Gorbachev! Tear down this wall. Yeah, yeah, they look pretty good. Again, I like biopics. Big history guy, big Dennis Quaid guy. I'm probably going to check this out in theaters unless it just gets really, really bad word of mouth. With a movie like this, critics go either way because it is a politically charged subject and subject matter. So definitely kind of. List of word of mouth on this one. The only thing is the trailer went on. The something about the film quality, and it could just be the, my screen here, but I, I don't see this a lot on most of the trailers I watch. It's the same screen. The film looks a little, doesn't quite look cinematic. Maybe it looks a little cheap, and I don't know if maybe it was the camera that they were cameras they were using or the color grading or what. But it looks a little bit more low budget. I see this kind of film on lower budget films, but maybe not. Maybe it's fine, but as far as the, the direction looks good, the acting looks good, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to go see this. What about you? Let us know in the comment section. Does this look like something that you want to go see in theaters? Are you a Dennis Quaid fan? Is Ronald Reagan a figure that you want to see a biopic of? If you're not going to go see it in theaters, but are interested in it, are you going to check it out later on streaming? Let us know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you did, consider supporting us on Patreon for the full episode. Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already. And we'll see you soon.